this is the autonomous l-shaped smart desk i had it since 2020 when i did the building the dream room video it's not breaking a sweat to this day this is a sit stand desk it elevates either up or down so whatever if you want you can stand up while working sit it down you can have up to four presets so in my case i only use two and if you plan on getting a desk and it's going to be in the corner the l shape is the way to go it actually just flows a lot more smoother than just getting a standard desk and you don't really see too many l shape desk setups on youtube that's added another layer of being unique l shape all right so the first thing i got to talk about is there is a ton of workspace a ton of workspace to utilize and this is by far my favorite feature. Like seriously, I'm all about having a ton of depth in front of me. I love having a lot of width and this desk simply does not disappoint in this area. Okay, so the primary workspace area, which is right behind me, is perfect for a dual monitor setup. But if you wanna get a triple monitor setup, then you can do that as well. You're just gonna have to put one of those displays in portrait orientation. And man, let me tell you, I'm loving that. Loving it, game frustrating. Let's move on to the build quality. This area does not surprise me one bit because I expected this uh, because I watched a bunch of autonomous videos before buying this desk because I will say it's not cheap. It's not cheap, I'll talk about that in a bit. But yo, build quality has been excellent. Seriously, just excellent from top to bottom. It's extremely heavy, extremely sturdy. Your monitors will shake a little bit but only if you forcefully push on the desk. But let me tell you, there is a fine line between like a $150 desk on Amazon from a no-name brand and of course, Autonomous, which is a more premium brand in my eyes. I know a lot of you are looking for some options. This is a stand-up desk, so you do have the option to lower it, raise it, just kind of do it however you feel, whether you're a short person or a tall person. Just to give you an idea, I'm a little bit over six feet. Um, this is exactly where I put it where I want to stand, but let's kind of go through some of the specs and I'll kind of show you around the actual desk itself. So as I mentioned before, this is honestly a pretty big desk. This long part of the desk is about 77 inches and then that L part that comes into play is about 64. So for any height, um, you're probably going to be fine. I got the white top. I think it's a super clean finish, but you can change that. And then down here is the... Um, part where you can go up and down and then the numbers are presets you can set. I'm still using the autonomous L-shaped smart desk and I gotta say it is holding up extremely well. The motor has no signs of slowing down and to be able to move up or down, it is through this control panel right here. So you have the arrow up or arrow down and then you have numbers one through four. Those are my presets. Number one will be my sitting down position. Then number two will be my standing up position. And then number three and four is kind of like bragging rights to see how high the desk can go. I'm using the L-shaped standing desk from Autonomous AI. This has been the main desk I've used since 2020 and has been probably one of the best desks I've used to date. All the parts on this desk are made from quality materials that are very durable. I have had a few chips and scratches here and there, but it's mainly due to faults of my own. Otherwise, the desk still holds up as the day I first got it. Definitely recommend you guys checking out Autonomous if you ever get the chance.